Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the Tech Coders, and today we are going to solve problem number 1882 of Code Forces that is card games, and it was the part of Code Forces round 899 division 2. Okay, so now let's see what question is stating to us. Question states that we are having an N card that has stacked in our deck and we are playing a game. Okay, initially our score will be 0, and in each turn we are supposed to perform exactly one out of these three operations. Okay, first operation is that we can choose any element which is at the odd place, and after choosing that, we are supposed to add that to our score and remove from our array and after removing we are supposed to perform the indexing okay now the second stage that we can choose any even positive integer i and after choosing that we are supposed to remove it from our array and perform re-indexing and third is we can end game that's it nothing else we can end the game at any time whenever we want to end okay so now question is asking us to do what what is the maximum score you can get when the game ends we are supposed to perform these operations in such a way that my score should be maximum at the end of the day. Okay, so now let's understand with the help of an example what question is actually saying to us. So see, I choose all the test cases which was given in the question. So this is my first example. So let us consider initially my sum will be 0. Okay, and I have to perform operations in such a way that the sum should be maximum. So I know that my sum will be maximum when I am not taking any negative values. Okay, now see, this one is the even place is odd this is even odd and this is even now i know that just as to maximize my sum i should be positive value i should be taking positive values but not this one is at the even place and this five is also at the even place if i'll remove this then i'll left with this array okay if i'll remove this then i'll left with this array so it's of no use to remove this what what can i do at this time to take my sum as maximum okay i'm saying that i'll remove this i'll remove this now what will be my updated array now it will be like this minus 4 minus 3 5 okay after removing this this will be my array now i can see that this 5 is at the odd place this 5 is at the odd place now i can simply take it out and add this to my sum now my sum is 5 okay after this what will be my array it will be like this minus 4 and minus 3 okay now both are negative so it's not important to consider them now i can see that i got my answer as 5 it was 5 over here i got 5 as well okay now let's move to the second example over here i can see that this is odd this is even this is odd this is even okay so now we know that we are we are supposed to maximize maximize our sum okay now i can see that this 3 is at the odd place so what can i do i can simply take it out and perform re-indexing now my minus 4 will be here as this is the negative values it's not important to add as this is going to maximize our answer okay what i can do this is this one is at my odd place i'll simply take it out and now my sum will be 4 as i can see that i'm getting my answer okay now come to this over here i can see that i have to maximize my sum see my sum will be 0 initially my sum will be 0 this is odd this is even this is odd so as to maximize my sum i know that anyhow i should take this trick anyhow i should take this trick so this this is minus 5 okay this is after 3 so i'm saying that let's ignore this let's ignore this we'll consider this too we'll consider this too i know that my sum cannot be negative it is not given in the question that my sum cannot be negative okay it is given that we should have the maximum sum and if in case we are getting sum as my negative what we are supposed to do we will simply end our game okay now i know that my sum cannot be negative so what can i do i am saying that i'll simply take this minus one out and add this to my sum or what will be my updated array it will be like this now and minus one now my 3 is at the first place that is at the odd place now i'll add my 3 over here it will be 2 this will be 2 and now i can see that i'm getting exact answer over here okay size of array over here is 1 okay size of array over here is 1 i can see that this is a positive value i can see that this is a positive value and that too is, it is at the odd place i'll simply take it out i'll simply take it out if it would have been minus 3 then my answer would have been 0 as i said over here that my answer cannot be less than 0 my answer cannot be less than zero so yeah this was our test cases which was given in the question now let's move to the observation part so see in total there will be three cases which which is important to be understood so as to solve this question okay this is my first case i'm saying that whenever i'll have positive value in my first place at that time my answer will be sum of all the positive values in the even array okay we'll keep on removing elements from the back okay we'll start from here now see this sign is at the even index okay so let's not do anything now i'll shift over here i can see that this is minus one and this is at the odd place okay as i want my sum to be maximum so it's no use to take this okay 
Now again I'll shift this to here. Now, now see, I'm over here. This is minus 2. So see, this is at the even place. Okay. And in question it is given that whenever we are taking an, an, any element from the even place at that time, we, we will simply take it out and perform re-indexing. So I'm taking this minus 2 out. Now my minus 1, now my minus 1 will come over here and my 9 will come over here. And my 9 will come over here. Now here it is my minus 1 and here is my 9. Okay. Now I can see that my 9 is at the odd place. My 9 is at the odd place. So I simply add my 9 to my answer. Okay. Now all these are negative, so it's of no use to consider. Now we'll come over here. I can see that 6 is at the even place. If I'll take this, then this is not going to add in my sum. Okay. So this value will get wasted. So what I'll do, I'll shift to left side and over here I can see that this is this, this is 5 and this is at the odd place. What I'll do, I'll take this out, I add this to my sum, and after that we were supposed to perform reindexing. So after reindexing, all this element will shift to left side. All this element will shift to left side. So because of that, my 6 will come over here. My 6 will come over here. Now I can see that my 6 is at the odd place. So I'll add my 6 to this. Okay. Now we'll come over here. This is 4 and this is at the even place. So again, we'll perform the same thing. That is, we'll check the left side. This is minus 3, which is at the odd place. So it's of no use to add this to my answer as this is going to minimize it. Okay. Now again, I'll shift to the left side. Now currently I'm standing over here. What I'll do, I'll take, I'll remove this even element. I'll remove this even element and perform reindexing. Now my minus 3 will come over here and my 4 will come over here. Okay. Now I can see that my 4 is at the odd place. So I'll simply add my 4 to my answer. I can see that I'm left with this place. This one is at the odd place. So I'll simply add this to my answer. That is 24 plus 1 is 25. I got my same answer. So see, this is my second case where the first element is negative and the first and the sum of first and the second element is positive. What I'll do at that time, I'm saying that when the sum of first and the second element is positive, at that time I'll simply do one thing that is I'll initialize my sum as the first element that is minus one and after that I'll keep on adding all the positive elements. I will keep on adding all the positive elements. Now see why. Okay. I can see that two is over here. Two is at the odd place. Sorry, 2 is at the even place and minus 1 is at the odd place. But if we we'll take absolute of this 2, then I can see that this 2 is greater than 1. 2 is greater than 1. And hence their sum is positive. So if I'll add their sum, if I'll add their sum, then my sum is going to increase. Then my sum is going to increase. Okay. So that's what I'll do. I'll simply initialize my sum as minus 1 and after that I'll keep on taking all the positive elements. That is minus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 plus 9. Okay, what will be my sum? 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 3 is 13 plus 17 plus 2 is 19 minus 1 is 18. Okay, now try to check from here. This is 9. Okay, this is at the even place, so I won't take it. This is 1. So this is at the odd place. So I'll take my 1. Okay, now my 9 will come over here. I'll add my 9. Now see, this 3 is at the odd place, so I'll simply take it. Now I'm standing over here. This 4 is at the even place so i'm not going to take it okay i'll check to its left side minus 3 is the is at the odd place so it's of no use to take this because this is going to minimize my sum okay now i'll check its left so now you can see that here it's 2 but it is at the even place so now i'll check its left now this is minus 1 okay so now see if i can remove this i'm getting this 2 okay let's just forget all this 4 if i'll remove this i'm getting 2 minus 1 plus 2 is 1 so that's why what i'll do i simply this my 2 will come over here and my 4 will come over here and both are at the odd place. So I'll simply add it out. After performing addition, I'll get 18, 18 as my answer. This was my second case. Now let's move to the third one. This is my third case. That is when first two elements are negative and their sum is also negative. When first two elements are negative or the sum of first two elements is negative. What we'll do? We'll see our array from here. We'll see our array from here. Now I can see that this is my first condition. That is, my first element is odd. So what we were doing at that time, we are simply adding all our positive elements to my sum. And after that, I was having my answer. Let's check. Sum is equals to 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2. 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 3 is 10 plus 4 is 4. Okay, so I got my answer. I got my answer. And now see, if you try to perform that, removing this element and shifting all these elements to this, you will get the exact same answer. Because see, this is the case one itself. So see, this will lie under third case only because we are going to perform the same operation. Okay, what I'm saying that 
if the sum is negative at that time i won't take this i'll simply start iterating from the third index and i'll keep on adding all the positive elements which are present in my array okay but now you will say that no bro i'm greedy anyhow i want this too anyhow i want the i want this too so i'm saying that no it's not good to be greedy every time okay if i take this too then see let's just forget let us suppose that we were having this as this only as my array so as to take this too what i was supposed to do i was supposed to initially pop out this minus 4 as this is at the odd index to get this over here get this over here because as it is at the even place i couldn't be able to take it so as to take this at the time initially i was intended to take this as minus 4 and then this 2 and this will result me minus 2 and this is not possible as i said that my sum should always be greater than 0 and in any case when i'm getting my sum as negative at that time i'll simply end my game so it's not possible that's why what i'll do i'll simply start iterating from the third element and i'll keep on adding all the positive value okay now we are done with all this explanation parts okay now see how we can code it see this is gonna be my base condition that is when the size is one what i'll do i'll simply check if that element is even if that element is positive or negative okay if it is positive then i'm gonna take it if it is negative then i'm simply gonna return zero over there okay so i'll take an answer variable which will have the count of the moves okay and initially its value will be zero now comes the first case that is if my current if my first element is positive if my first element is positive so over there what we were doing we were simply iterating and adding each of the positive elements to my answer what we are doing over here and after, after printing the answer we will simply return this is my second condition that is when the first element was negative and the sum was positive and the sum was positive so what we are doing at that time we were simply putting my sum as minus one i will reinitialize my answer as a of zero and after that i'll keep on taking all the positive values see what's the significance behind this max 0 and a of i okay this is because when it is positive i'll take this and if it is neg negative then i'll take this okay now this comes my third case but what we were doing at that time we were iterating from the third element and after that we were just keep on adding it sum okay this is what we are doing over here we are, we are starting iterating from the third element okay and we are adding it sum to my answer and after performing all these operations i'll have my answer as my maximum answer and i'll simply print it out okay so yeah that's all the solution guys i hope you understood all the concept and the logic over here thank you for watching and have a good day ahead